I'm ready for the word. Are you ready for the word? Yeah. I'm ready for the word. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right, so I'll be reading from you guys from the, the book of Acts. The book of Acts. This is um, Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon's uh, revival week. This is the beginning day, the first day. This is the starting. So I'm going to lay the foundation. And I believe God has given me a word for you guys. I have been fasting since Sunday. So I haven't ate. So I heard from God. Whether I'm crazy or I heard from God. But I was hearing something. Amen. 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 So I'm, ready. <laughs> Amen. I'm in Acts chapter 20. And I'm going to begin, I don't know what the custom of this house is, uh, whatever that is, I ask that you follow it. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we ask that you stand. Amen. 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 Uh, um, so, yeah, I'm going to, um, so that's Acts chapter 20. I'm going to begin around verse 17, and we're going to drive by uh, Verse 25, amen? Amen. Amen. So, so however, from Maltus, uh, he sent, excuse me, I was reading the Amplified. I'm going to read the King James. Uh, it says, and from Maltus, he sent Ephesus. He sent to Ephesus, and he called the leaders of the church. Uh -huh. Say the leaders of the church. The leaders, the leaders of the church. He called the leaders of the church, and when they were come in to him, he said unto them, "Ye know from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons. Say all seasons. All, all seasons. All seasons. Serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears. Somebody say many tears. Many, many tears. tears. With many tears and temptation which befell, befell, befell me by the laying and waiting of the Jews. Uh -huh. And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly. Yeah. Uh -huh. And from house to house, uh -huh. testifying both of the Jews and also of the Greeks, re repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And now behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, yeah. save the the Holy Ghost witnessed in, in every city saying that bounds and afflictions abide me. But none of these things move me. None of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto, unto myself so that I might finish my course with joy. And the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Amen? Amen. That's the final one. And now, behold, I know that y'all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God, shall see my face no more. No more. Amen. No more. And so, I want to speak to you from the subject of unmovable. Unmovable. Uh, A.K.A. none of these things move me. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, this is the first day of, of revival here at Mount Vernon. And the theme is revive and rebuild. Amen? Amen. And so revival wins have a tendency to come when you least expect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And a revival has a tendency to just come upon you. When God uh, want to do a move through you. Amen? Amen? And so we all have our preferred methods and the way we like to do things. And everybody thinks that their way is correct. But, but but what really matters when we come together is that we worship him, that we put God first, that we trust him in his word, that we fellowship and that we pray. Yes. Yes. The Amen. order of the method don't yes. even matter. That's right. yes. it, don't, it, it don't even matter. As long as we uh, 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 come to him in spirit and in the truth. Yes. That's right. In spirit and in truth. And so the method don't matter which way we do it don't matter. Even though everybody thinks that their way is the correct way. Yes. But as long as the Holy Spirit moves, yes. we will have a move of God. Amen. Amen. We will have Amen. a move of yes. God. And so whether we... 
touch a person or we anoint them with oil, that ain't even the main issue. Whether they stand up or whether they kneel, that ain't even an issue. Whether they fall or they remain on their feet, that's irrelevant. If they laugh or if they cry, it don't even matter. But long as the only thing that matters is that God moves. Yes, amen. amen. The only thing that matters is that God moves. Tell your neighbor, let him do it. 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 And so if you want to see a revival out there, revival must start in here. Yes. Yes. There's no revival going to happen out there unless it's beginning in your heart. Yes. For a long time, I thought that revival was to bring people to church. But I found out it was to bring people to God. Yeah. Yeah. And so revival brings people. But it begins in your heart and then it goes to the outside. Amen. Yes. And the consequences of revival, it, is, it, 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 it affects every aspect of society. You can't say you have revival in here and not revival out there. Yeah. Your school should be having revival. Yes. Your jail should be yes. having revival. Your community yes. should be having revival. Yes. Your household yes. should be having revival. It should be revival yes. in your marriage. Yes. Your children should be yes. Revival should touch everything and anything. Yes. Yes. And so when I look at the word revival, it means to live again. Uh -huh. it, it means to, to have a spiritual awakening or a spiritual birth, right. to be born again, again. Yes. And I find in my own life, I'm being born again and again and again yes. and again. And yes. so I have to think yes. that I, well, yes. I died dead, yes. huh? yes. that Christ may live. Huh? And so every day is a revival for me. We should be in a perpetual state of revival. Yeah. It should be no downtime. It should be all up time. It yes. should be for him I live and for him, him I die. die. Yes. Yes. Hey. 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 And so when we talk about reformation, we talk about the restore, to rebuild, uh, to reestablish foundational truths, biblical law. God's God's description of reality from his infinite perspective. And so what our job is is to get the mind of God, the will of God yeah. going and operating in our lives so that it can affect everything that's around us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And so here we find ourselves at Paul's farewell speech. And in this speech, he knows that it's coming to the end. Yes. And he knows that his, his life is almost over. And he begins to call the elders together because it's the pastoral thing that's inside of him. And usually we see the evangelistical side, but we see in the pastoral. So he grabbed all the elders together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so he began to talk about a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. A lifestyle that's required of every witness. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing that is not cheap. It's a listen. They call it a treasure inside earthen vessel. Huh? Yeah. This thing costs something. Yeah. It costs Jesus his life. It costs yeah. his blood. He left from eternity to step in time and so that we can have relationship yes. with him. Yes. Yes. And so in this speech, Paul says that. He's talking about public activity, how we live our life, how we present ourselves, how we walk, how we talk, how we govern people. Do we care about folk or do we care about our own agenda? Mm. Or are we living as a testimony or walking the pistol of Jesus yeah. Christ yeah. in yeah. his earth? Yeah. Yeah. Are we doing the works that he did? Matter of fact, are we greater works that we shall do yeah. since he's gone? Yeah. And so we find ourselves in verse 17. And he, and he begins to call the elders together just because he want to talk to them. And I want to talk to your elders here because I understand that you're saying revive and rebuild. And I want you to say it's going to start with the leaders. If the leaders not revive, the church won't be revived. Yeah. It's going to start yeah. in the poop. And yeah. it's not going to start in the church. It's going to start at home and on your knees. Yeah. Right? And so once we're involved, it hits you. It can hit outward. Yeah. Um, that's right. And so... He began to speak to him, and he's talking from his heart. Mm -hmm. He letting them know the things that he suffered. Uh -huh. And so when he gets to verse 18, he says, he said, and, you, and when ye come, were come to him, he said unto him, you know, or ye know 
from the first day I came to age after what matter I have been with you at all seasons. Like it's hard to find people that'll be with you at all seasons. Right? Because now in this time of day, we got some time of people. And sometimes they want to be with you and sometimes yeah. they don't. Yeah. Sometimes they want to yeah. pray for you and sometimes they won't. Yeah. And so Paul said, I'm willing to be there in the good times. I'm yes. willing to be there in the bad times. And no matter what you yes. go through, I'm not willing to feed yes. you or forsake you. Yes. I've been with you in all seasons. Mm -hmm. If you find a person that's an all season person, keep them. Yeah. I need an all season person. Yeah. I need some people that's going to be with me when I'm going through some things. Yeah. Not when everything's all right. Yeah. Anybody will be with me when I'm up, when yeah. everything's going all right. But I need some folk that'll be with me when I need prayer. Yeah. I need some folk that'll be with me yeah. when my marriage happens. Yeah. I need some folk that'll be yeah. with me when I'm losing my mind. Yeah. So when he's talking about integrity, he's talking about integrity, he's talking about fidelity, he's talking about loyalty. We don't even know what covenant means no more. We, we jump from this church to that church, to that church, to that church, to this pastor, to that pastor. Yeah. And instead of uh, bringing disciples, we just change sheep. No. No. We train sheep. We train sheep. That's true. Check on you about three times. <laughs> Number one. So we get to verse 19. He's talking about serving the Lord with all humility uh -huh. of mind uh -huh. and with many tears and temptation which befell me by the land and way of the Jews. And so in this, Paul shows that there's no superstars in church. Mm -hmm. oh, right. mm -hmm. it's, no, it's, no, it's no wonders. It's, it's, he's saying that I'm in humility right. and, I, and I have to birth this thing. Yeah. I have to cry for this thing. Yeah. I have to pray for this thing. Yeah. I have to walk through this thing. Yeah. And I'm no superstar because I know that I got to be humble. And yeah. those who humble themselves, yeah. they'll be suited yeah. and started in due yeah. time. Huh? Yeah. And I know due time is right in the corner because I stand the part of humility. Yes. And I'm only here because of God is here. I'm only yes. doing this thing because of him. Yes. And it's for him I live. Yes. Yes. And so it was no self-exaltation inside of him. He says this, I sold in tears. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, he said with many tears. Many tears. Many tears. Many tears. Many tears. But the scripture says weeping may endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Joy coming in the morning. For most Christians, as soon as they go through something and they experience tears, they ready to run. But I'm here to tell you something. Yeah. There'll be much tears. Huh? Yeah. You will have many nights. Yes. Huh? And you will have many issues. Yeah. And you will have many circumstances. Yeah. But those that love the Lord, they yeah. endure. Do, huh? yes. They endure do a good heart. Yes. Yes. That's a good soul. Yes, yes. 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 Many tears. Yes. Many tears. Yes. Yes, That's confirmation that you say. Uh, yeah. yeah. And so the first thing, the other thing he says is that bearing others' burdens. Uh -huh. I got a heart for the people. Yeah. I'm not trying to use the people. Yeah. I'm not trying to manipulate the people. I'm giving everything to them that's beneficial to them. I want yeah. them to do well. Huh? Yeah. I want them to have everything that God want them to have. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to give them all the knowledge I have, all the revelation I have. Yeah. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to fast yeah. for them. And I'm going to carry the burden of the people. Yeah. Yeah. I need more pastors that carry the burden of the people. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, he bro. said, I'm even broken by their knees. Mm -hmm. And so when they hurt, I hurt. Yeah. Right on, right on. When they got issues in their marriage, I hurt. Yeah. When they can't pay bills, I hurt. Yeah. Uh, and their knees, I hurt. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we share all things in common. Oh. Yeah. We share all things in common. Yes. He said, he say, so I weep. Mm -hmm. I weep over the sufferings of others. And the failures of others. Yeah. And so while someone's praying on people downfall, he's saying, I hurt because they hurt. Yeah. He said, I cry because they cry. Yeah. He said, when they cry, I cry. Yeah. 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 All right. 
And so he said, I'm serving the Lord in trial. Well. Most people try to get out of this. But you, when you're going to serve the Lord, you got to serve him in trial. Mm -hmm. You got to church. You got to, listen, it got to be in season and out of season. That's right. You got to gotta when people like it or when people don't like it. Right. When people walking away, when things going upside down, you got to serve God. You got to yeah. have the time to yeah. serve God. Yeah. 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 That's right. So he said, I'm serving them in trials. I'm serving them in trials. All right now. I'm going to get to my point in a minute. Right, we coming, right? right? Y'all good? That's not right. All right, well, verse 20. And he said, I kept back, I, I, how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly from house to house. This really touched me because when I got saved, it kind of felt like people kept, was trying to intentionally keep Jesus from me. Uh, uh, because I came from where I came from and the things that I've been through, they saying that no good thing could come out of my household or my area, but the devil is alive. Yes. Because yes. God will take, yes. yes. take a nobody and yes. change, yes. change yes. to somebody yes. who has yes. anybody. Yeah. 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 And so Paul proclaimed it all. Yeah. He gave them all. He didn't just tell them what they want to hear. He didn't tell them to just tickle their fancy and all that stuff. He didn't just tell them all the good stuff, but he let them know about suffering. He let them yeah. know about trials and tribulations. Yeah. He let them know about being steadfast, unmovable, always bounding yeah. in the work of the Lord. He let them know that trouble won't last always. Oh, yeah. He let them know yeah. all, both sides. We come here and we try to get people saved and we only tell them the good things. We tell them a half-sided story. But I'm beginning to tell people, this is just the beginning, baby. Huh? You're going to yeah. suffer. Huh? Mama's yeah. going to be mad. Daddy's going to be mad. Yeah. Children may walk away. You even may lose your job. But if God be for you, Yeah. It's first priority. Yeah. It's first priority. 
my yes. daughter. And so he says this, I deliver this yeah. word to yeah. them. And so that let me know the church, the only church that is, is the temple of this body. Because yes. <laughs> they didn't yes. no building yes. with hands. Huh? Yes. It wasn't no fall, nice things that we got now, and the AC, and the internet, and all this stuff we got that's actually keeping us from God. Yeah, right? yeah. He says, so yeah. I went to house to house, and I gave you everything you need. And then he hit him with this, George. He said, publicly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, look, I can't yeah. imagine it publicly. It's like he said, I'm doing it in your face. Yeah. I'm not even trying to hide. I got a boldness about me. Because I understand yeah. who I am inside of him. Yeah. I understand who yeah. I am. Who yes. I belong to. Yes. And it's no longer the apostle to be able to. Yes, God. Yes, God. He said publicly. He said at all costs. I got a message. He said, he said, if I don't preach, I die. That's right. now, I'm telling some of you preachers, it's either preach or die. Yeah. It's either preach or die or go to sleep or lay down or do something. But you got to preach this word. And you got to preach it in this season and now this season. And you got to do it openly. No matter what all the consequences here, you got to preach this word. Because God will cover you in the alleys. God will cover you in the market store. God will cover you in the dope house. God will cover you in the dope house. God will cover you no matter where you are. Yes. Yes, God. And so he says, I'm testifying both to the Jews and the Gentiles. Yeah. He says that's to the, 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 the God's people and to the people that's the outcasts. So, yeah. Matter of fact, and, and, and the Greek word kind of like this means kind of dog or the unclean people. I mean, if that's what it means, he says, so I care about the folk that they don't care about. Uh -huh. I got them in mind because Jesus got them in mind. The people that you talk about, they don't have no fixed address. Uh -huh. I love them. Uh -huh. The people that shoot that dope, I love them too. Uh -huh. The people that lost their mind, I love them. Uh -huh. The people that's in the whorehouse, I love them too. Uh -huh. He said, I love all my babies. That's why the blood reaches from the highest mountain to the lowest valley. Next thing you 
you know you find yourself in the wilderness. Huh? People be calling that the devil. Well, how about when it's God that yeah. gave you a sign that's in the pit of hell? And yeah. you got to stand there boldly and not be affected by hell, but pull in that place and bring out all the uh, all the, uh, all the the spoils and bring it back to God. What about when God calls you to trouble? Yeah. What about when God anoints you to trouble? When God tells yeah. you to go, will you go when he yeah. tells you to go to trouble? Wow. Yeah. 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 That's right. Hey, hey, hey. And so, are you willing to serve God no matter the, out, the outcome? Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Are you willing to serve God no matter the outcome? All right. Are you willing to be a, obedient to the point of death? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to serve God in the midst of your trouble? Mm -hmm. Right in the middle of of your trouble. Can you praise him? Can you thank him? Can you bless him in trouble? Can you serve God when folk trying to destroy you? Can you serve God when they talking about you and they bite by you and they telling lies on you? Can you still say, God, I love you? Can you still serve him when they talking about you? Can you serve him when folk walking out? Can you serve them with folk walking out and walking away because they saying you're doing too much because you too saved? Mm. <laughs> can, you, can you still praise them when they say it don't take all that? Mm. <laughs> I tell them, and if you knew the hell that I've been through yeah. and how I yeah. almost yeah. lost my mind, yeah. 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 how you yeah. put me yeah. back yeah. over my head yeah. as I look back yes. and I look back over my yeah. life. Yeah. When it's only two of y'all. Mm -hmm. Can you serve him when it's just you and him? Can you serve him when it ain't no thighs in the sheets? Can you serve him when it's just you and him? When it's nobody's shoulder to cry on. When nobody want to hear your mess. Can you serve him then? Yeah. And so this uncertainty didn't move Paul. It didn't move him. He would not be moved because he had a call. Mm -hmm. Do you have a cause? Mm -hmm. Jesus said it was for this cause that I was born. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a cause? Why are you here? Mm -hmm. Do you know what you're called to do? Mm -hmm. Can you stand for the cause? Mm -hmm. Will you die for the cause? Mm -hmm. 23 says, say that the Holy Ghost witness in every city saying that bounds and afflictions abide me. Uh -huh. And so this is literally a prophetic utterance from city to city that God is telling you that you got trouble coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But what about when God, he, so he wanted him, right? He wanted him that trouble coming. And when some of us get warnings, we know when God tells us something about to happen. But what about when God tell you something about to happen and I'm going to let it happen? Mm. Uh, it's yeah. of here. Yeah. But what about when God said, I'm going to let it happen. You can't pray it off. You can't fast it off. You can't manipulate it off. You can't work it off. You got to go through this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so Paul recognized the dangerous road ahead of him. Because of the many words that wasn't coming from people, it was literally coming from God. And he said, you got trouble. You're going to be locked up. And you got trouble coming. Oh, yeah. And so you, Paul was still moving in the midst of trouble. He knew trouble was coming and he was going towards trouble. Some of us like to duck around trouble. And when you got to fight that thing head on. Yeah. That's why he's staying. Yeah. He said stand. And when you, all you done to do to stand, just stand. Yeah. yeah. And so Paul going in the face of trouble, oh, not even caring about trouble, because he know who he got on his side. Well, yeah. He know and understand who is on his side. And so he recognized the danger, but he recognized God too. That's right. Mm -hmm. He recognized God too, and he know that it, listen, listen, he know that uh, uh, it's more for him than against him. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. He, he understand that. And so it didn't set him off track. It didn't set him off track. 
What he was basically saying is, I ain't scared. Well, he said, I would never scared. Amen. He said, bring it, devil. Huh? He said, I would not be moved. Come high or hell water. I would be in my place. I would move. I would not move out of my place. I would stay with God. Tell me to stay. Can nobody make me leave? People right. tell me when they say, oh, they made me mad, so I'm going to leave. If God called you to a place, how can you leave when God called you to a place? Yeah. How yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't talk about you. Yeah. But if you really love God, you will stay in your place. Yeah. Right. You say they can talk about me all they want, but I'm staying. I'm not leaving. I'm staying. It's all like a right. Houston or something. I'm staying. I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm staying. I can't go. My life depends on it. I can't go. God called me to this place, and if it's trouble in this place, God called me to the trouble. And if he, if the trouble's here, He anointed me for this trouble. Yeah. And I got the attack, but I got the anointing. And, yeah. the, and the anointing destroys the young. Yes. Man. Yes. My life depends on it. My kids depend on them. Uh, People worry about folk talking about them. They'll leave a church and uproot their children, and their children will suffer from moving from place to place. Yeah. 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 My life depends on it. My kids depend on it. My destiny depends on it. Yeah. My salvation is on the line. Yeah. My very family depends on the decision I make. Oh. Bonds and afflictions, they can't do nothing with me because I got God on my side. Yeah. Matter of fact, I already been to hell and back, huh? I've been locked yeah. up. Bring it, devil. Yeah. Everything that you got, just bring it, devil, because God is on my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last verse, and I'm going to close. He said, but none of these things move me. None of these things move me. I believe that we should have more Christians that got this statement. None of these things move. None of these things move. Go ahead. He said these these current or these present suffers can't compare to the glory that will be revealed in me. And it can't it can't even compare. The the tears that I cry is nothing. The pain that I suffer is nothing. Because when glory hits. All pain goes. Yeah. All, listen, yes. all the issues that you have goes. Yeah. When Jesus show up, he got the That's how they say it. heaven. It says no more crying and no more doubt. It's because the glory is there. Yes. The God said it's glory yes. inside of you, and I'm going to reveal it. How I'm going to reveal it? I'm going to reveal it through trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you can't skip the process. Wow. And so trouble don't move. Storms don't move me. The devil don't move me. Talking don't move me. Falling don't move me. Fear don't move me. Trials don't move me. None of these things move me. Yeah. None. 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 None of these things move me. Like the look, like like the amount. He said, I got a great work and I can't come back. Yeah. I got all that stuff you're talking about, but I can't come back. Yeah. Yes. The father work and I work too. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say I got a sword in one hand. I said I got a sword in one hand to fight off, and I got a trial in the other hand to build. Yeah. And so I can fight and build. Yeah. I can build and fight. I yeah. Can fight and build. Yeah. I can build and fight. But I'm not coming down because I got work, work to, to do. do. Right. Yes. I got work to do. Say build, baby, build. Build, baby, build. build. That's right. Build, baby, build. None of these things move. I'm going to finish with this last one. It right, says, man, nor do I count my life dear to me. Mm. Nor do I count my life dear to me. And so what he's saying is that mm. I don't value my life more than I value God. Oh, yeah. okay. That's right. Okay. That's what he's saying. Right. All right. He said, I don't value my life. I value God more than I value myself. Mm -hmm. Because I'm nothing without him. Mm -hmm. I'm nothing. I'm lost without him. I'm like a sinking ship without his sail without him. And so he said, he said, listen, I don't even care about this life because if I lose him, I already lost my life. That's why David cried, take anything, take anything from me besides your Holy Spirit. 
And so he says this. He said, I don't even care about that. I don't even care about that. He said, I'm going to finish this race. And I'm going to finish it with joy. Yeah. My God sent me here to tell you to run your race with joy. Yes. Despite what you're going through, despite where you've been at and who's talking about you, run your race, baby. Mm -hmm. Run, baby, That's run. Right. Run just like Forrest. Run to the chapels, okay. come on. Yeah. Run yeah. to your mind get free. Run to your chills get free. Run to you get, your, your body gets healed. Just run, baby, run. Yes. Run to the suffering ain't yes. suffering no more. Just continue to run yes, because God. none of these things yeah. move me. Amen. 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 Am